supply side, you mean, right? Oh. Uh, supply side. Just put, yeah. Here, like this. It's okay? Fantastic. Okay, supply side. Uh, uh, Turkey uh, has uh, main production area is central uh, Turkey, but the production is everywhere in Turkey. Uh, the first uh, crop comes out around uh, early June. It's like 15,000, but the rest is coming out around um, end of July. The total crop size is like between 250,000 to 400,000, I can say. And around 15,000 of this is for export. And also 20,000 is export side for snacks to mainly to Middle East and Europe. And uh, I can say that for big uh, sizes, we have been export, uh, importing from India and Mexico for the last four or five years. Uh, I can say that the figures are right about Turkey, 50,000, but uh, 20,000 of this is going for import, import and 30,000 is going for retrans business to Iraq. And uh, this is what I can say. Thank you, Murat. So um, now let's quickly move on to the price. Again, we'll follow the same pattern, but before we do that, to make it more interactive and interesting, what we'll do, we'll announce a prize. So we'll announce a prize of $5,000 for somebody who can predict the right range. The range shouldn't be more than $50. It could be 1000 to 1050 And this will be in the form of a credit note. Terms and conditions will be <laughs> informed later. <laughs> But this, this, is the, this, is, this is the way we have to find a price range. It should be with the $50 ban, and we will track the prices for March, April, May, for, for the good three months arrival. So give us your idea, because what we are seeing, we are seeing 130,000 tons production in Mexico, 400 to 450,000 tons production in India, 30,000 exportable surplus from Argentina, 90,000 tons of production, uh, Turkey with 350,000 tons and the 50,000 tons of import. So this gives a sense as if there is super supply, but that supply is not translating into the prices mellowing down. While we are discussing about these big numbers, the prices are going up by $200 a day. So something is not really uh, converging uh, on the pricing front. So give us a sense on the pricing, please. Do you mean with Indian couple of chickpeas, correct? L large size, Indian, Mexico, well, I think we have to make a difference. We cannot give only one price. You can, you can, you can so you give an opinion about give both. the price of both Mexico the, and India, for example? Yeah, yeah you can Two give prices. About, that's right. For March, April, and May. May. Wow. You require a lot of information, eh? <laughs> well, my numbers, I will give a, one number, because if we give a range, it will be very difficult. I dare to say, I start with Mexico. Okay. I would say, okay, 1,200 March, which is something which is demonstrable because there are contracts. April, I would say 1,250, and May, 1,200 again. That's my estimation. Right. For India, for India, I would say, I don't say anything for March, but I dare to say 1,100 April and 1,000 May. We will, of course, we'll, we'll also come to um, audience. Rajat, give us your range. Uh, well, I don't have exact figures, but I can give that uh, approximate range in terms of FOB, USD. I believe currently the Indian chickpeas for March are trading at around 1,300 levels, 1,300, 1,350 FOB levels. But uh, these, I believe, are superficial levels uh, generated out of speculative buying because there are probably no sellers for the March. Because uh, due to uh, the crisis that happened last year, there are no peop there are people people in India are afraid of short selling now. So there are superficial prices riding for the month of March right now. But I believe that over the period of time, if you talk about March, April, May, if the markets don't correct themselves for India in March, they might have to correct themselves for in the month of April, or maybe in the month of May. 
because we cannot hold uh, to such a long, uh, uh, such a huge crop with uh, no export because Mexico is allowing no room for us to export now. Last year we had somewhere around 1000 containers booked before uh, the Mexico's news came that uh, the Mexico is spoiled and even uh, more cargo was booked after that. But this year I don't see a lot of future business happening this because Indians are reluctant to sell and Mexico is selling cheaper. I believe the prices should range between uh, 1050 to uh, somewhere around uh, 1250 USD FOB. That's a very wide range, my son. Yeah, because uh, I, that's a very wide range, I understand, because currently the prices are very high. Because currently, they're, they're selling a 1350 FOB. I think our friends are waiting from you a range of 50. Because 1000 to 1250 is 25% error of margin. If I have to say plus minus uh, $50, then I would suggest a range of 1125 FOB. Thank you for being brave and pu putting a number to that. Uh, Hugo, what can we expect from Argentina in terms of pricing? Of course, they don't have 11, 11 millimeter, uh, but like nine. But we cannot compare big calibers like uh, Mexico with of course not. So 42, that's 44, that's and uh, India compete on the same uh, caliber. Uh, it's difficult to predict, and all will depend um, what are the price for 7 and MMM into the Indian domestic market. I guess that. Uh, if somebody can predict these numbers or what is the, uh, the, the downgrade in relation of the big calibers, uh, we can say probably 100, 150 dollar less. Okay. Today, you can find uh, sellers for 8 millimeters at uh, 940, 950 FOB. So for small calibers will be other market, not comparable with the 1,050, 1,100, okay? Thank you, Hugo. Murat, tell us what is the price which importers feel comfortable in importing in Turkey, um, at which you will see substantial business happening? Because unlike last year, this year, not much business happened because everybody was waiting for prices to drop Exporter and importers both are in an impasse and maybe they went to cover very quickly in the month of February So that probably could possibly explain the price going up But what is that level at which you'll see substantial business happening in Turkey? Uh, daily, ba daily basis I have been talking with my buyers uh, They assume that the price should be for Indian uh, by 20th of March it should be around 11, 11, 50, 1100, 1150 for Mexican, it should be around 1200, 1250. Uh, then for April, uh, what I think uh, Indian prices will go, will increase a bit to 1250. And for Mexican, it should be around 1300. For May, uh, the levels for Indian, it should be 1100. And for Mexican, 1200. This is what we, we think. My buyers think actually. Thank you, Boraz. So now we have a sense on the production, um, divergent views on production, especially in Mexico. Uh, we have a sense on the pricing. We know uh, we, we, we couldn't get the range of $50 range, but at least we have a range of about two, $200 between the panelists. I would like now to audience, our friends to comment or um, discuss with them what is the price they have in mind or the production. So please, if anybody has any questions, um, I, I invite you all to ask uh, the, the panelists about, uh, about their, uh, their queries on the Kabbalistic piece, please. Can we have the mic, please? <laughs> 